Hey folks, so you join me here at university once again. I've actually just come back from the Easter holidays. I've come back a few days early to try and get on with some work. But you'll be pleased to know that I did in fact manage to get some projects done while I was back at home. I have a few things which I wanted to cover in this vlog. And also if you wait around until the end, because there's no one in the flat and very few people in Elvin Halls, I thought I would also show you quickly around my room and also the rest of the flat. So if you're interested in that, stick around. I hope you managed to catch my last video and that was the little vase turning which I did which was just a quick little video where I thought I would have some fun and one question which came up a lot on that video and I thought I would go ahead and answer was what species of wood I was using. If you've been paying attention to my other videos you'll notice that I've been using that species of wood a lot in a lot of my turnings and even some of my woodworking projects and I can tell you this much I have no idea what wood that is. Yes unfortunately I get asked that question an awful lot and I really don't have a better answer for you in the past I've thought it might be some kind of species of birch or something uh, but I really don't have any idea it was just sort of the case that when a local church was chopping down a bunch of trees I went and headed over there and just grabbed what I could and I really don't know what species it is if any of you guys have any good ideas about what it is I'm sure you've seen it a lot in all the videos I've used it in now so if you have any ideas about what it is let me know I would like to be able to clear that up. A few other things which I thought I would mention here are a couple of videos which you probably won't have seen which I did do before I came back to university and one is a channel trailer which you if you've been subscribed to my main channel for a while you might not have seen and also the other one is the inspiration project video which I did for Steve Ramsey's Woodworking for Mere Mortals and that video I don't know how much you'll enjoy that, that, but I will. I'll post some links down in the description to both of those videos, so you can check those out. Give them a like if you like. <laughs> Give them a like if you like. But yes, it might be worth you giving those a watch. I don't think Steve Ramsey's doing his inspiration project anymore, but that was something he asked me to do back before I came to university. So I thought I would do that for him. It hasn't had many views to be honest um, but uh, yeah check that out <laughs> whilst I was home I did get a good opportunity to do some wood turning and I went ahead and used the Carter and Son Toolworks turning chisels which was sent to me and I have to be honest they were an absolute joy to use they were just razor sharp out of the box and I, they're certainly the best turning tools that I've had the pleasure of using and um, so if you're in the market for some high quality wood turning tools and you can afford them they I can only recommend them to you <laughs> One last thing I thought I would mention before I go ahead and give you a quick tour of the flat is the upcoming video and that is of this phone case or these phone cases which I made whilst I was back home for Easter. Hopefully you'll enjoy that project. They were actually quite easy to make. They didn't take all that long either. Admittedly they're not entirely wood phone cases. I just take a plastic phone case and stick some wood to the back but I thought that would be a project project which is approachable for a lot of people so hopefully you'll take the time to watch that when it goes live in a few weeks time okay so it's at this point in the video that any of you who aren't interested in seeing my student accommodation might as well switch off but for when I did my last vlog there seemed to be enough interest in that sort of thing for me to go ahead and do that so now that the university seems to be really quiet I thought I would go ahead and do that. Um, there's no one else, as I mentioned, <laughs> in the flat. It's a bit lonely, to be honest. But I came back to university slightly early to try and get myself to do a bit of work. OK, so I guess we can start where you were just sitting on the desk. Uh, this is my room here at Loughborough University in Elvin Richards Halls. And I am, of course, doing product design engineering. 
Uh, I guess we can take a look at the ensuite bathroom here in the corner, which is just a huge privilege to have, very handy indeed. Um, all of the new accommodation is built with these little bathrooms and um, the old accommodation unfortunately doesn't. So moving on. So this flat is shared by myself and seven other people. Uh, they're, they're all guys, although these are mixed halls, but I've, I've made my peace with that now, I guess. Uh, this hallway is great for <laughs> playing ball games, although I'm sure we would get in a bit of trouble for that. So head into the kitchen. Really big kitchen. Uh, we're actually are catered five days of the week so we only need to use this at weekends uh, at which point it does get very messy in here it's really nice and tidy with just me in here at the moment i <laughs> uh, got a sofa down here kitchen table not used all that much to be honest um, okay i think i'll head outside quickly and you can take a look at the 400 other rooms just like mine. There you go. Really nice. <laughs> and we'll come back inside. and back to my very quiet flat. And back into room number seven. And uh, this is where I did my paper tray intro. It's still sitting there, nice and handy. <laughs> a lot of you guys made uh, a note of the, got some whiskies in here, which you guys all seem to point out. Um, yep, yeah, I suppose that's about it. Okay, so it's well past the time when I should have started my revision today, so I better get on with that instead of talking to you guys. Once again, be sure to check out that phone case video when it goes live. That should be not this Friday, but next Friday, but don't hold me to that. Hopefully you'll enjoy that video. Until then, take care everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye.